everybody, it's me RJ. Today, we're gonna replace the radiator on i7 Dodge Ram. This will cover like 92 to like 2002, some years, possibly others. Other vehicles are pretty similar. Today, what you're gonna need is the channel lock. We're getting some of these clips off. If you don't have these, you can make vice grips work. Maybe even a regular wrench, it would just suck. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. So, if you worked on stuff for you know you need 30 of these, because they will run and hide. You're gonna need an eight millimeter on mine at least. For some reason, one of these clamps that holds the actual fan plastic shroud on is eight. I don't know if it came that way. I don't know if I did it over the years, like lost one. Who knows? You are gonna need an 11 16th for over here. For the coolant line that goes here to the AC, uh, the trans cooler. Okay, look, right there, right there, you're gonna need that. And this one down here is a three fourths. Okay, there's another clip there. We're gonna start on this first thing first. You're gonna need something, whatever you can, a little wrench. There's a clip, stay right here. You show them there, show them from above, see it? Okay, get your hand in there. Mm -hmm. It's a drain plug. So it's right, it's not a clip. So, there you go. Put your bucket underneath. Mine is water, so we're good. I could just let it drain. Um, oh, the reason we're replacing, see these things? They're plastic and metal. Right like this, on the back side here, leaks meeting. Uh, it's about five years old. They say eight to 10 years we expect. They're made like crap now. It should be whatever. Maybe it's a warranty. I don't remember where I bought it. I don't have the stuff anymore. So guess what? It's not a warranty. Okay. But now we're not draining. With that empty, I'm gonna find out. I think it's plugged in something. Okay. It's done? Mm -hmm. So it was clogged. Uh, for y'all that don't know, haven't watched me before, I fixed this car with a can of bar stop leak about three years ago, I think. It's still been holding up, but because of it, you get a little goop in there every once in a while. Um, right there. And sometimes a little floats up to the top. It's like rusty goop. Um, you'd be like, oh, that means it's ruining your car. Are you still fit in? Mm -hmm. Why are you putting down the battery? So I can can see you see it? it? Okay. Yeah, like the blah blah blah, that means it's not taken care of. Um, now I flush the system all the time because in the summer I run water, and in the winter I run coolant because it still leaks a little sometimes on extreme like days that it goes too hot or too cold, difference up and down. So we're just gonna sit here and let this drain. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pull this guy now. Hopefully, he's empty. Go for this one first, even though it's not really the first one to grab, kind of just because it's up top oh, and easy. Paper toss fell in. Where? To in the, the car? Yeah. No, we're probably falling through. No, it's right there. Is this one you meant? No, on the other side. Okay. Here's your base. So, the water's still a little warm in here. I let it sit for like an hour. As you can see, look, can you see, look down there, look what's happening because of me. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. That's for me shaking the truck. Okay, there's going to be a little fluid in here too still left I'm sure oh no, I'm leaking. I never unleaked that I thought I had okay so I'm gonna pull my plug back in where's that plug little button plug there it is I thought I had that's part of why I wasn't going to vacuum uh, I thought I had the cap off already so yeah hey look at me show me if you're draining the system you gotta take the cap off I, I was pretty sure I did. I probably took it off, looked at it, and have it probably put it back on. Okay, so there you go. Leave your plug in. Go drain where you control it straight down. -ish. It's just water, so for me it's not as bad. If you got coolant, you can try to make sure it's not draining. It'll take a long time draining this way. Okay. 
go. A little dirty water. See here, look. No. It's a little dirty in there. You get a little cakey grossness. It's a little brown there. It's not that bad for running the bars leak in there and I run water all summer. What I gotta do is I flush it. Before I do this, I'll flush it with water. And then I'll clean it, seal everything up, and put the, what do you call it? Real cool one. It's about winter. You don't want water only in the system when winter hits. Because you would not have uh, a radiator or possibly a radiator block. Um, go ahead and unplug that hose. Take the overfloor reservoir. It has a little clip down here. So, so a thumb, try it under it. You push down to unhinge it out of it. And then, that's up. Hey, Russell's here. And it's plastic. You see right there? Show. Sure. Like a clip up and it like a wimp. Maybe. Big dribble. That shouldn't be happening. It should just let me stay on the chair. Mm. Oh, I have some trouble. Just grab on, pinch that thing at the bottom. And... There we go. Get ready to mess with that clip, but okay. There we go. This has some water in it. See? But look. See, I like you worry about the rust you say, but look. The water's clear, shell. It didn't let me say it long right. enough. This is the water that's in the actual radiator. It's clear. Yeah. But it is rusty in there, too. It's uh, at the bottom of it. It plugs up the bottom. It was, oh, it's bad. I mean, in a newer car, you may not want to use bar stop leak because your engines aren't made as good as old vehicle. You might have difficulties. And on this bad boy, three years, like I said, it's running fine. It just gets that goop in it now. All right, so we're going to take that one off. Same situation over here for the windshield washer fluid. Push in and pop it up. trouble with those today. I'm trying not to abuse it, but not not happy with me. Hmm? careful because this one's full so you can't really go anywhere with it okay put that right there put this right on it somewhere over here there it's out of your way okay so next thing is the fan shroud like I said it is 10 everywhere except one of mine is an 8 okay I'll come to you I'll come to you okay well, that's the 8 one right there for me the rest are tens. That was loud. We got plenty of time right on the phone. Mm -hmm. Can you now. see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. right. you, know, you can sometimes leave the shroud in. You get the radiator out. I'm going to try to do it. Pull up the radiator and the shroud just to have to wrestle with it because I don't want to take the fan off. But it would probably be a little easier to work with. What I'm going to try to do is take the shroud and plop it back there. Unhook the radiator and just come up and out. I might have to do the fan. We'll show you in a minute if we can do that. Are you watching me? Mm -hmm. I'll say you can kind of pause it, but it's fine. All right, that's one. Show them over here. 
I'll show you that one. It's eight millimeter. I'll show you in a second. There's two. Which is ratchet is like battery power. And you like do a little and then goes. No? Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe it should be. Maybe I'm going to invent it and I'll be a billionaire. 100 million. I think those exist. What? Battery operated wrenches. Ratchets? Yeah. Wrenches. Rocket, socket wrenches? Socket wrenches. They, they might. I have personally not seen one. I haven't been looking either. Y'all can comment and tell me I'm an like idiot. The screwdrivers. screwdrivers are completely different, and yes, they, those do exist. The ratchet would have to be able to also go back and forth, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? I guess it's pretty close to that. Better out screwdriver. I'm a, a socket wrench that. Look at me, look at me, guys. Look at me. See, screw. I'm talking about like you use it as a socket wrench, right? Go like this, but then you get tired and you get it and you just press a button here and it goes. Zzz. If that exists, let me know. If not, and you take my idea, hey look, claiming copyright right now, you owe me like at least a whole bunch of those wrenches free. If they work, I don't want them if they're sucky. Like some of the tools out there that are gimmicky and you're like, bye, and you're like, this thing's a piece of crap, I don't want nothing to do with it, the guy's rich, but this thing is junk. Okay, so, I'm gonna set my bolts here. Where's my case? Pause it. Like I said, see? For some reason, I have a number eight. Oh, no. Oh, wait, that one's good. It's good. It's the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said, I might be good just sliding this out of the way and be able to pull the radiator up. Okay, so we did that. I'm going to remove these before I mess with removing the radiator so that I have, uh, what do you call it? Leverage. Okay. So here's the 11 sixteenths. Looks rusty and it's gonna be trouble, so. Okay. Oh, that? Right here, cap. Alright, look at that. It's not anywhere near as bad as I thought. Once it broke free, it's like, yep, I can do this. It's like you just took me off five years ago. It's not that bad. Alright, there you go, one down, one to go, this one's going to be a little difficult where it's at, get a line, a chair, maybe get below, the problem is there's the hose there which I might have to remove, but I also got this in my way as well, the uh, band shroud. Good thing is, if I nick up the radiator a little, not important. It's going bye bye. Okay. This one is not bad either. Look at that. I mean, they fought me for a second, but now they're finger tight. Um, as you can see, we got some problems here. Uh, this was resting on this hose and was slightly rubbing it, so it's not great. So there's a good chance I need to replace this hose. I might go get one. Look. Yeah. I mean, that could easily, from pressure of the radiator, mm -hmm. cause it to blow. That happens, especially once it gets cold here soon. Mm -hmm. It feels soft, I'll show you on a second. But I'm thinking, kind of, I knew one of these. See that oil release in there? Grossy, gross, gross. Okay. See it? I'm thinking about pulling this guy and replacing the hose. See it? Move it up here, like that. Just leaking going on. Dirty water. You see a lot of rust in that water. Um, but yeah, see this? Do you see the weakness? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can feel it. You touch it. I'm good. No? You can, it's weak. I'm kind of worried. Um, I might have to go run up to O'Reilly real quick and buy that hose because I'm pretty sure that thing's weak enough from... The heat of this one rubbing on it so long that it could anytime. Mm -hmm. like, 
pressure wise, and then you lose all your coolant anyway, and then you're like, damn it, I just fixed it, what's wrong? So, huh, yay, yay's me. Can you do me a huge favor, camp person? Mm -hmm. Grab that bucket from over there. Sure. You got it on? Mm -hmm. Okay, grab your channel locks. Or right, like I said, first case scenario, you gotta use the vice grips in here. Let me get this guy. You see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. The clamp, just like the top hose. Pinch it. Wrestle it. Try to make it so when it's off, it's over here. This is the one that goes on the bottom of your water pump on the other side. There. This is the one you just replaced. Okay, this is the, the fluke, the maybe, I mean, could have, could have not. Uh, this one goes. You had to buy a new one when you replaced the water pump. That could have been a while ago, though. Um, this one goes, the water goes from here directly through this hose into the water pump. Okay, that is the in this is the return when it gets hot the thermostat opens and it returns the hot water or cool it back here okay it's full so move these tools out of the way i make a mess You can see the water's a lot cleaner on this side. I don't know if you see it, it's pretty almost, it's almost perfectly clear. A light, a light tint to it. Some of that brownness you're seeing in the bucket was actually already in the bucket from like a year ago, the water was in it. Whenever it was in the spring. Rusty. Now this is draining the whole system. Engine area. Do you have your phone right here? No. You pause or your video? Okay. Pause it. We're going to go see if we can find this uh, hose at a close O'Reilly so I can replace it. We on? Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. So, as you can see, my hose, uh, it's $16 at O'Reilly. It's the squiggly W1, not the. Okay, that's the return. That's the inlet, I guess you would say. So here's it. I mean, it's really not that bad. I've removed all the stuff, and now we have four things. And we're gonna get this radiator back in for you, put everything back together, and then go get that hose so that it's gonna be dark. I can do that in the dark. We plan on also doing my front disc brakes and rotors on the avalanche, but we'll do that another day. So please check back if you got an Avalanche or a GMC Sierra or a Tahoe or a Suburban or a 1500 Silverado or something that needs this disc brakes changed. If not, just, you know, subscribe. Help me help you. Okay? Don't copyright me on that, okay? Okay. So where's the bottom one? I like it goes right to it. I think these top two and then it mounts into the frame, but there might be bolts on there. I can't remember. I haven't done this in a while. There might be two bolts on the bottom holding it, but it might just lift. But if not, there's going to be two that I have to go below and get. It's really not that bad. I mean, look at me. Look at me. It's really not that bad. How much do you pay for the radiator at Amazon? I don't remember. 90 bucks? 80 bucks? 70, I think. Something like that. 70, 80, 90 bucks. Uh, I paid a lot for this one. I got at O'Reilly or Advance or whatever because I needed that. Once it was going, it blew out. I need to write that, right? Isn't this the one to replace that one that blew out? Yeah. We had a negative 9 degrees actual temperature, like 20 wind chill. 
drove the truck, he did let it warm up, let it warm up, and we had coolant, no water in there. Uh, 50 50 mixture. I buy it just pre mix, so I don't mess with it. Running, running, ran it for like a half an hour on, off, on, off, you know, to get it. Then went and drove, sat at a light, thermostat opened up, heat came out, and this whole square shelf, just like this, just blew out the front. It's not fun. So yeah, there you go. We are unhooked. There's your radiator. Can you grab the bucket for me? Got a leak. A little dirty. It's a little dirty. Maybe I wonder about my leak. You're like, why didn't it help the leak? Uh, what do you call it? Um, it didn't help the leak. The leak on these is in the timing chain cover where the bolt goes through in the timing chain cover. Coolant goes through on this vehicle. It's stupid. So I have to remove everything, clean everything up, gaskets, everything to hope it fixes that leak. <laughs> so I've never done it. So I just did that and it worked. Okay. Let's see, BS. So, here we go. New step back. Here that bad boy is. Just stay there, I'll bring it to you. I'll bring it to you. You got both? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. We on? Mm -hmm. So, it's 97.95 for the radiator. Spectre Premium CU 1552 complete radiator for Dodge Ram. This is what we got, okay? See the box was all put together. It's kind of cool. They give me new fittings, new bushings for the radiator. They don't Out. give you new caps though. No, they do. They're only a few dollars in there. every part of store in the world. They figure they're good with that. It's got new plugs, everything. The bad boy's clean. So clean. I'm gonna have to take that plug out. Come here, show. See the plugs. It's a plug for down there. Um, looks like oh no way that's all one piece it looks like i'm gonna have to plug that part on so i might buy that hose as well it's all once it's plugged and protected inside there but that guy's in there that is that part which uh, one right here right here <laughs> see on this guy it's different <laughs> It's a plug-on style. You get it? Mm -hmm. Unless I can put this in there, but I don't think I can. Let me see how this is. Uh -huh. Recording? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the multi-set of little things. I'll show you how they work. You go in here, yeah. clamp it over that hose. It's plastic. I have a little bit of pain because this is tight. You gotta get this in there, okay? You gotta open this guy up. I can't see. I know. It's a stupid setup on this one. It's not enough give, okay? See this here? I gotta get this in around it and push that in, and it's gonna come up. There's other ways you can do it. We're gonna try this one because it can get a little more give and it's shorter. I'm hoping it's gonna work. So get that in there, and then you just push this plastic into there. It's supposed to release. And as you can see, it's like, no, I hate you. Try this guy, I gotta get him in there. It's just gonna be a pain. Okay. Where's that screwdriver I had? Get a screwdriver in there if you can. Are you watching me? No. It's like no. Okay. You need to get that on there and then press it in. Almost like you need to cut this thing off to get in there good. This is horrible. Okay, push that there. It's supposed to separate, but Separating just not enough. Not at the bottom. Where I need it. Okay, guys. Bring it back here as much as I can. Okay, can you kind of see what I'm doing now? Mm hmm. Okay, so you go like this. And we got it. We got it, I think. I'm just going to force that in. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go a little higher up here. It's 
stupid. Okay, so you get it like that and see how the other one was all bent and loose. Same system with the Y. There's just not enough room. It's supposed to be tight in there though. No, it's supposed to have a little more hose. Oh. The bolt's in the way. Mm. You get it? Mm -hmm. hose really needs to be replaced, but so you can, can you see down in there? Look, see it? There's little bearings type clips. See them? No, You're supposed to just get down in there. You can use flathead screwdrivers sometimes. Get lucky, like four of them. Get them in there. And cannot get this guy in there. Problem. You can pause it and I'll get it on. Okay. okay. Right after I throw a deposit, you on? Mm hmm Throw a deposit and get to stop fighting me as bad and I'm almost in. You see what I'm saying guys? You shove this in there and then you go like this. Clamp. It's still pain. Stupid thing, I hate these. I mean, I hate them. It is somewhere in there, and you just gotta find the right spot. See, I'm moving it now. I'm getting it to go. Just doesn't want to. <laughs> this is dumb. All right, y'all. I hate these. I hate them. You got to get it just right. And it's got to release that little lip. And that's what I'm supposed to be doing. If you look at the other one, someone had done it with the screwdriver and it wasn't me. <laughs> My hand's so tired and sore from work. Week that I'm already having a problem. It's trying, just not doing it. If right. I pause it and walk away, it'll come out. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Um, I'm going to grab this tool, attempt to put this in there. See what I'm doing, everybody? I'm using this as a leverage in between the two things push that hopefully like a button we we'll have a slightly smaller one okay. Get under there. so it might not be big enough it's a pain in my butt mm-hmm <laughs> Y'all, oh, mechanicing is great, isn't it? It's so dumb. You just said how you see it. This is the, changing our radio. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, hopefully you don't have this set up. And you can just skip this step. Like your radiator comes and doesn't have that. So don't buy this one with that valve set up that way because they're jerks. Unless yours is already that way. Mine is that way. No, unless... Here's this. Where it's yeah. the one part, you still have to get this clip off. Oh. Hmm? Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just hating the clip, this is the problem. Alright, so. It's hating me, guys. It's hating me. Alright, everybody, we got it. So, what I'm saying is you slip these in and they hold down to this, okay? And they make it push down. I'll show you in here. Can you see kind of? There's clamps. Can you see inside it? Not really. Getting close. Can you see the teeth in there? Kind of, yeah. Okay, there's little teeth. 
four of them, one on each side, and they're just like metal spring type things, and they hold this in place. So, boom, boom. That bad boy's done. We're here to the next step. Is that it? Mm -hmm. We're ready? Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot find the new lines, so I might have to make one. Um, later another time, pull it off and do that, okay? Or just bring it up there. We just can't we think can't of find the exact it. name. name. Um, your automatic transmission cooler lines, what it is, but they're not showing up. Okay, so here we go. First, the process be gentle. You don't want to mess up too many of your fins on your radiator. Oh, I need to put the new rubber mounts on, don't I? I got all excited because I got that part done. The little rubber bumps. They go on the bottom of the radiator. They need to be in there. Okay. Gentle. Oops, I got one of the fins after I just said not to. Because I'm dim. Okay. See the holes down there? See it right there in the frame? Can you see my finger right there? Yeah. Gently. Rest. Turn it all the way. Down there. Yep, I'm in, I'm in. Okay. Here's the old rubber mount. See them here? You got, got new, new ones, ones. Okay. Uh, these have metal as well. I'm going to see if those do. If they don't, I'm going to steal it. Metal? Mm, no, it's got like plastic on the inside. Plastic? Okay. So, metal bump, plastic. Not as good, but we'll do it. It's here. Five five years of replacing it, as you can see, because they're junk. Okay? So you put this here. Okay? Look at my old radiator. Good lord, it had a lot of nicks. Drive it, whatever. Well, it looks like it was leaking here a little. Yeah. Maybe. A little rust. Yeah, a little spot dinged. Okay? That's the way they have this. It's like that. Yep. Oh. Press this guy in here. Make sure the washer flat side, not that side, is out. Is the inside towards your vehicle? Okay. Then the box. Where did I put those bolts? They were the long ones, right? Mm -hmm. There's one. Okay, guys. Bolt number one. Find your hole, which is right there. Make sure you mount it well. Okay. Ten. Go to the other hole. Do the same thing. Okay. Get mine all right. Okay. Uh, you gotta make sure this is down. The reason this can slide up and down is to make sure you're in tight, holding this in. So it could be up more and the radiator all the way down where it needs to be. You get what I'm saying? Oh, oh boy. Oops, the bullies. It's not, it's all gross. Um, since we're going up there anyway. So yeah, see the rubber's fine here and you all saw that rub spot. You just don't want to take a chance. These are high pressure lines. They get hot. Surprise, I'm almost surprised it hasn't blown yet with how soft it was to my hand. Okay. Taking forever, ever. All day, son. All day. Good job. Mechanic. <laughs> she didn't want to show you my butt crack. I'm a plumbing mechanic, okay? Mechanic. Okay, so you make sure that's down all the way when you tighten. When you tighten good, this is right here. You don't want it moving. These are here for, what do you call it? Uh, 
vibration control protection. Whatever. Show me at all. Can you see my face? No. Oh, show my face. Ready? Yeah, helps me. That's what happens when you're working. It would have already been done if it wasn't for that. I was getting stuck and then realizing the hose in the different. bottom was all bad. No, the one getting stuck apart and then realized, yeah, that should have been the same. Oh, you're juicious. Super douche. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we have it easily here. We're going to take this guy, gently put him on. Give you the one that was 11 sixteenths. Go by hand as much as I can. See that bad way. On your 11 16th, right here. That's that dog was wrong over there. What's wrong, doggy? If you have a uh, pipe style wrench, it can go around it. It might be easier. So you can like, lift it off this time. tightening this up make sure it's good um leave it and then when you run it see if you got enough and you might need to like get it really good but don't go too much because you don't want to it's thin lines you know don't break it take this new guy or old guy if you got I the old one that's it and this guy here it would help if i took the rubber <laughs> stopper off not yet, the light that made me see that. Okay, this guy's gonna go right like this. And you just, boom. Make sure it's locked, see? But I am gonna replace this line. I'm gonna find out where they have it and replace it. I'll come back in. The good thing is, they made this one like that, so it'll be easy to pop off and we'll have that nut yeah. in the way. Okay? So we're not gonna put that hose back on, the big one, because Show them the damage. Now they can see it in the light. Can you kind of? Here. Mm -hmm. we'll bring it up and out. Careful, we'll bring nothing. Okay. So, right here. See it? Do you see that wear? Mm -hmm. It's a small spot, but it's softer than the rest. So, 16 bucks, you said? Something like that. Replace it. $16, y'all. Don't take that chance. Okay? Okay, guys. I'm going to set all them right here so we can see. We're going to do the 10 millimeter ones first. Okay. Oh, and they need clips. These ones do not. That's why the clips are here. I'll show you. The other radiator. Do you have the clips on? Yeah, I have them. Oh. Okay. Clips. Okay. We're going to go like this. And then you take the bolt. So everyone, because you're tightening the plastic. You can't really tighten a bolt into plastic, it won't hold well. So the clip goes on this side of it holds it, and on the back side you kind of like sandwiches it together. I have a little trouble here with my tightening there. Where is it? Okay. That's one. Can you shine that light down there? Can there or no? No, I'll get it. I'll figure it out. Same thing. I got it. Oh, okay. Let's get this guy here. Yeah, he's trying to light. So you have to lift this. See? Probably should have done the other top one first. Let's get this guy in. Okay. Oh, careful. Knocking anything around, yeah. Man down. Grab one of the bolts. It's a big one. The other one. Yeah, to the little ground all the way down, I think. together now. <laughs> it's fighting me. Did do it the right way? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So, in the hole. That's my dumb dog. Okay, get that one in. Okay? 
give it a little one. The eight millimeter is the top one because of the fact that it was pain. Let's go over here. that clips in with this guy and uh, lift it find your hole and you tighten as much as you can these bolts hold the right here the fan shroud so it doesn't smack around on stuff I'm very soon gonna do a video of getting rid of this getting rid of that fan and doing an the e-fan uh, people found a way to keep that though um, I gotta find that bolt that I dropped we're gonna pause it. Pause it real quick. Same thing, everybody. Make sure you got the part, the circle part, the, the uh, male part. Why do you say the male part? That's sexist. Because that's what they're called. The female side is the side we're going into. The male part. Carefully, that one bolt's almost falling out. Let's see that. It's not in at all. Looks like that one may not work. Might have to go in the truck and see if I got a different one. So, looks like this one doesn't match the clip. Maybe I had a special clip on that one because the bolt was different sized. Uh, let's take it and try and show it in there better. Might just need to be pushed in more. I think we got it. As you look in here, that is a impact, I believe. I don't know if they can hear the impact over the dog. Yeah, so the impact's pretty loud though. The dog's pretty loud too. Um, that's my neighbor that I borrowed the little plastic uh, tool for removing the AC AT cooler lines. Automatic transmission is all AT means, guys. Don't try to make it sound like it's something cool. It's not. Okay? So he helped me out. His name is Justin. Tell him thank you. Say thank you, Justin. Thank you very much. You helped us out on our endeavor. Does that feel like it's doing anything? Yeah, it's just it's loose. So, you get it? Mm -hmm. the left, when I go back, where it's supposed to be clicking like that, mm -hmm. it was un tightening. See? Mm -hmm. Are you still recording? Mm -hmm. How long we got? We're at 43 minutes. Left? Yeah. Oh no, it went to your card, I guess. Um, switched yeah. over. Yeah, that bolt's not working. We're gonna have to find one. Right here? That's what I'm working. Yep. You have to get your clips set up right, and all four of these tightened. What? Kitty. Just a kitty. Here. Get my hand as much as you can, save you some time. Fine. Hopefully yours goes a little smoother than mine. Your hose doesn't need to be replaced. Hopefully you can pop that off. Or hopefully, how it unscrewed on mine, your new radiator has that screw on tight. You might want to look at the pictures and see that. Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to come that way. So next step, take this. See the little plastic on the bottom? Show them down at the bottom. Touch it right there at the very bottom. Yeah. Do you see that there? There's a hole right here. Yeah. And you slip in, okay? But you also got to get this guy above it. See, now I'm wrong though. He's not in that one on the bottom. Okay, so make sure you're there. Make sure you're there. Force it in. That's it. Yes, that's broken. It's been broke for years. Um, it holds itself. It works fine. Okay? We are going to take this guy. We're going to put it in. We're going to get the channel lock. Dang it. Locked up in that spot. Okay. I need new channel 
guess they kind of slip in one of the spots. But they still work. So this is a little bit of pain. So make sure you clip it on right about the right spot. Um, so you can still get it yourself, okay? That's it. Come over here. Get your pump for light. We are going to come back and put this on and reclip it, the new hose. You're going to have to reach up and unclip the other one right here. You should be able to get in there. It'll be a pain. Um, the belt's kind of in the way. Uh, you have to wrestle it. I'm going to take it off now. Then you're going to put this back on. I'm not doing that now because I need to be able to move and work here uh, with the light that I'm going to need. And that plastic case will be in the way. Um, and then we're going to come back and we're going to show you, of course, filling it so much until it fills. And it's going to bubble the cap off. Close it. Turn the engine on for a second. Shut it off. Put a little more until you're full. Okay? We're going to pause it. We'll be back, all right? All right, everybody. The hose was a 22083 from Gates. You can just look it up in advance or, or rather though, on your thing. They should tell you what hose you need. Okay? That was being a weirdo. <laughs> off just a little bit hot okay take your own clamps first thing okay double check even though I kind of checked it there it's it yeah I need some new channel locks y'all please like and subscribe so I can afford to buy some new channel locks help me out you can donate if you ever see me live streaming you can donate right on there no one's ever donated. People keep saying they're going to, but they don't. So I could really use a nice new pair of channel locks. Maybe Cobalt could hook a brother up since I use their tools so much in all my videos. Just saying. See, they keep slipping out from the ridges. Dang it. It slipped again. Sad. I'm having to wrestle it. Are you stopping it? Are you watching it? I'm watching it. Okay. Come on, y'all. I need to suck. Set it down here. Two hands at once. Y'all watching it? Yeah. Everybody, put your back. Get your hose down there where you want it. Get your hose here. You can see it from right up above here. So, light in here, Kristen. There we go, right there. Video or no? Yeah, kind of. Come up here. Slide that hose on. There's like a lip that lets you know you're in enough. I want to shove it a little more down it, but it's like a thing. Okay. okay, now I got that there. Take these channel locks right here. Tip to grab this here. On this side. I got the hands right. I got a little bit. Come on. Okay. Slow it up as much as you can. Try not to lose it like I just did, but. a light from below if you could. Right there. No, no, no. Stop where you are. Right there. If y'all are doing this in the daylight, it's probably a lot easier. I don't know how that out in right now. <laughs> it does not like me tonight. Wrestle, 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 wrestle. I don't know why it's not working. <sighs> These channel locks, I just happened to decide tonight on this job that they were done. Man, too late to do anything about it. And then you're working on there with it as well.
the light right there. We on? Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody, get all that connected. Sorry to turn it off. I had to go to my vice grips. My channel locks are just roasted all of a sudden, so. And they probably, oh, they've been kind of roasted. They're bold. Pop that in to your reservoir return line here. Oh, great. That has the fitting where the hose goes. Oh, is it the same? It's different. Um, hopefully by shoving it on there, we'll do it. Is it I'm gonna have to small? get a hose clamp and seal it. This is what I'm gonna have to get. The other one didn't need it. It's like something like fits on the end. Shape. All right, trying to light here. Okay, this was perfectly fine, but I bought a new one anyway. I mean, replace the right air. Let's get nice, make sure it's good. See, it's, it's really not much difference. Okay, put that on, boom. That doesn't seem like it's seal channel light here. Channel light right here. Okay. 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 We'll find out after it seems to be able to move a lot. Yeah. As you lock it, there it goes. Oh. Okay. It feels better. <clears throat> Okay, pulling out of the way. My strips out of the way. Double check in here for me. Pause the video. We'll be oh, ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we're gonna go with three gallons. Hope that's enough. We do not know. Eight places have different amounts. You know, does this say here? Nope. So here we go. Light on. Let me try to light up here so I can. I know I'm not going to be full on one, but I need to see in there. Well, these are 50-50 Universal Peaks green. Turn the light in there, please. Thank you. Oh, that almost dead. Go as long as we can. Everybody, and then we're gonna start her up and check her out. But this is, does it, and I spilled some. Try not to, it's cool. Don't just leak it, it's bad fun. Uh, in case y'all don't see, I mean, I might have a leak, but I'm not gonna have a leak out of the radiator. But I might have one on that part back there, but that's not gonna affect you all. So that's it for us here. Um, like I said, here, try to light it real quick. Look at this one, shine up above here. There you go. I think it's gonna take all three gallons. Big radiator. If you buy pure and don't buy the 50-50, buy the pure and get some distilled water. And fill one gallon for every one gallon of this. Look at that, we're getting pretty full. Put two gallons, but then we turn on, something's gonna go into the system. So we got some bubbling. So I'm gonna put the cap on. We're going to start it up. Some of it's going to go into the system more. I'm going to check that out. Make sure I know my stuff. My only other leak I have is there, and it's not leaking if y'all can see, but it has before. Right here, we got a good steel. We got a lot of fluid that's built. I think it's the stock radiator. It's good. So, you know, hopefully this holds up for a few years for me, because BS. Hope this helps you out. You got any questions, ask below. I might have it, not. Maybe I can point in the right direction. As always, I'm RJ. See you today. Have a day.